Welcome everybody to another vlog. Today we are at the Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California. I am going to be going on the, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> there we go, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour today, uh, this morning. And it's something I haven't been on actually in quite some time. Um, I've been on it once and it was like five years ago, so I'm kind of curious to see what they have. Hopefully they'll let me record some parts and I'll let the tour guide do the narrating there. Uh, but I know there's a lot of famous, you know, outdoor backlot sets that are part of the tour, uh, including a show I watched recently on Netflix, and I w I'm willing to admit this, uh, they have the Gilmore Girls Stars Hollow. Uh, kind of town square set um, that's part of the tour so kind of actually interested to see that and then of course they filmed many TV shows here including Friends and ER and uh, they're gonna list many others that I'm sure I'm forgetting and that they've used in various shows and movies and uh, for me I've just had the itch lately to travel somewhere a little farther from home and especially movie studios always interest me because I have the comedy channel as you may know the other channel um, and uh, just the whole process of, of filming those and I do like the sitcom format so I think this tour will be pretty interesting um, kind of curious to see a very long-term working studio what the whole kind of process is and the, the tour itself. So come along with me and uh, we'll go on the tour. Okay, so I've successfully located the start of the tour at least. I don't think it actually opens for a little bit longer, but these are the various tour vehicles they take you in. So we'll be going in one of these around the back lot. So you do get a more sort of personalized tour with these really, I'd say, beefed up golf carts that they have versus the larger universal versus the larger universal tour cars. So I'll be going in one of these. And of course they have this, or these Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck statues where people are taking pictures just before the tour. Fire escapes. They are authentic fire escapes from New York. 
Uh, but like I said, that was named Hennessy in the 80s. This backlot's been here since the 30s. It used to be called Tenement Street. All of our gangster films filmed here back in the day. So names like James Cagney, Edward G. Robinson, they all filmed down here. Uh, and a scary fun fact about those films is we did not have special effects back then. So when you saw a bullet fly next to an actor, that's because we did hire professional gunmen to shoot next to them. So when you hear the term, don't miss your mark, they weren't kidding. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you miss your mark, you could get seriously hurt. Mm -hmm. We had a movie called The Mask, starring Jim Carrey. This is Stanley in his apartment in that film. Now all of these buildings are called facades. What that means is there's absolutely nothing inside of these buildings. If you're walking inside right now, you're going to hit a wall. Chandler sees the love of his life at the time, Kathy. She's jogging down the sidewalk right here. Yeah, Chandler really wants to say hi to her. He's searched up in all of these cars to get the Now as she's running, we're going to see her pass by building 27 here. And that is the orphanage from the original movie. So if you listen closely, you might hear her singing, The Sun Will Come Out Here Too. Remember what they did? They just walked her away. staircase here. We shot that take once and then we kept using the same one throughout the entire series. Yeah. And that's because running up the staircase was considered a stunt and Adam West did not do any of his own stunts. Mm. So we had to have a stunt double do it. We don't want to make a stunt double do it every single time. Um, off here to your right, this entire grass area, this is all of Central Park. Oh, it looks just like it, right? Same size and mm -hmm. So the reason we call it Central Park is, of course, because of Friends. This is where Rachel and Phoebe go on their jog, and Phoebe does that crazy run of hers that she does. Uh, it was also used as a Renaissance Fair and the Big Bang Theory. It's been a campsite for two and a half men. Uh, Gilmore Girls, Lori goes off to Yale. She has her own study tree. Her study tree is going to be there to the right with that big branch sticking outside the trunk of it right now. So as you can see, Super easy for us to reuse all of our um, buildings. Just take different set decorations, different camera angles to make it look like a new place. Uh, the best example of that is this entire building here to your left. For my West Wing fans, this is every single embassy in that show. To make it look like a different embassy, they simply just change the flags. <laughs> right, so as promised, we are coming back around to now what's fun about Chicago is we can actually see a great example of a dress set right now right here to your left. For my Shameless fans, this is Patsy's Pies in the show. Um, Patsy's Pies, or Shameless, recently got picked up for 10 seasons. So they did just come back here to start filming that season. Um, now if you take a look at some of the windows, you're going to see some of them are kind of tilted um, like left and right. These are on something called gimbals, and that are spaces that are a way of avoiding reflections or cameramen. So if we want to get a shot of us looking inside the building and we see that reflection, we just change it to make the reflection disappear. Uh, and lastly, off here to your right, this blue building that is all of General County Hospital and the show of VR. Mm -hmm. Yale track above it, they built specifically for that show as well, but they built oh. it for the second season rather than the first. Mainly just because when a show starts up here, we don't want to put a lot of money into it because we don't know if it's going to be successful or not. We learned our lesson in the 90s. We had a TV series called The Flash, which also filmed here on the street. Each episode cost them about a million dollars to make it due to the special effects. And unfortunately, that was too much money for us back then, so we did cancel it because of that. Uh, and that leaves us with New York Street. This is the oldest back lot on our studio. When the brothers purchased this land, these buildings were already here standing. But in the 50s, did go through a little bit of renovations, and that's because these buildings caught on fire. But instead of calling the fire department to put them out, all the filmmakers grabbed their cameras first and filmed it happen to get footage which also went to waste because they never used them. Mm. But a lot of history back here. To show you a few clips, go ahead and take a look at those TVs once again. Humphrey 
Humphrey Bogart walked along New York Street in the classic film The Maltese Falcon. New York Street was also the starting line for the great race from New York to Paris. The same street was turned into a futuristic Los Angeles for Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. And this is the spot where Sheldon stole a copy of Raiders of the Lost Ark and was chased by an angry Will Wheaton and friends in the hit sitcom The Big Bang Theory. Why is there never a pontoon plane when you need one? <laughs> Director Ben Affleck filmed scenes all over the lot for the Academy Award-winning motion picture Argo, including this one on the courthouse desk. Uh, so right now we're headed over to our archives. Our archives will be in the end here on the studio. The first floor we're going to be walking through will be home to all of our Aquaman awesome and Wonder Woman costume costumes. The second floor is going to be Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Now while we're inside, go ahead and take photos. You can even film in here, but please don't flash photography. So in here is where we did all of our costume design, set design, all that concept art you saw in the archives. Stages 14 and 17 off to your right is home to the show Shameless. So all these star wagons that you see right here outside of them, those are going to be the actors' uh, trailers. This star wagon specifically is wardrobes. Continuing off here to the right, we're going to be passing by our fire department. Yes, this is a real fire department. It's also where a water tower used to be located. It was right next to it until the 30s came along. There was a giant earthquake in Long Beach that affected us all the way down here at the studio. We saw the tower shake a little bit and it scared us. That's when we decided to move it to our back lot. This way, if we have another earthquake one day and it does fall, it won't land on top of our fire department. So probably a good call. Continuing off here to your left, you are gonna get um, a really great shot of our Warner Brothers logo here on Soundstage 16. And that's because this backlog's been used in over 400 productions. To give you a few ideas of what's filmed here, I'm gonna show you another quick video, so go ahead and take a look at your TVs. Midwest Street was turned into River City, Iowa for the film version of the Broadway musical, The Music Man. The now, before 2004, Warner Village was actually Laramie Street, so this was our, uh, one of our western towns. So we did a movie like Wild Wild West here with Will Smith. We also did uh, western TV shows like Cheyenne and Maverick here. Uh, but then after 2004, we realized we're not making too many westerns anymore. We decided to tear that back lot down, and we had a pull around the studio to see what everybody wanted. And it ended up being a tie between a suburban looking area and production offices. So we gave them both. If you're to go inside of any of these houses right now, you're going to run into cubicles rather than getting a kitchen and a couch. Mm -hmm. Now coming up here to your left in just a second, you'll see this blue house. I believe it's house 186. Uh, these are going to be the production offices for the show Shameless. Yeah, 186. This is where they do all the writing, all the casting for that show. And then passing over here to your left is for house 187 is the show or production offices for the show. Give you a hint. 
That is the last standing Casablanca set here in our studio. Your listener Humphrey Bogart has a flashback of him and Inger Bergman. They're sitting at Cafe Piers and find that the war is about to begin. Now Casablanca is the second best picture we've ever won an Oscar for, and you will get a chance to see the Oscar itself at the end of the tour at stage 48 will be in our legacy room. Uh, to the left of the blue building, that great one right there with a little bit of blue to the bottom, that's the exterior of Sheldon, Leonard, and Penny's apartment in the Big Bang Theory. Uh, my Gilmore Girl fan, I just got blocked off down there, so I'm going to point out that brown corner building all the way at the end of the street, that is Luke Steiner. Oh. Oh. Okay, go slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, camera. You got it. Savior. Whenever we weren't doing too well, all we had to do was put Rinton into the movie. Huge success every single time. What can I say? People like dogs. Uh, but he was quite the spoiled guy. His favorite drink that he got for work every day was red wine. He got paid $6,000 a week. Keep in mind that was on the 30s. Uh, he was also supposed to win the first Oscar ever for Best Actor Award. The only reason it wasn't given to him was because the Academy was afraid if they gave their first Oscar to a dog, they wouldn't get taken seriously. So fair enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so stage 21 over here to your left, this is where they are currently fam uh, filming Space Jam 2. You can see all of the uh, green screens that they're using out here to your left. Stage 16, ooh, it's open. So you can get a really great shot right now of the inside. We have our tank open. Our tank is definitely, it's three levels deep, so it does go a bit farther down. Now, this stage wasn't always this tall until there was a movie called Cain and Mabel, starred Marion Davies. She wanted to have a bigger sound stage to fit more elaborate sets for their for her performance. So the way they got it here is they had about 100 men surround the stage with hand cranks. And to the beat of a drum, they just lifted the stage from the ground up and built it brick by brick up. So maybe not the safest way, but that's how we have... The most famous stage today. We've done Jurassic Park in there. We've done Ghostbusters. The Goonies when the kids find the ship at the end. It's all done inside that stage. Uh, James Dean also had quite a bit of fun in our front lot here. He knew the one part of a stage that is not soundproof are going to be all of our elephant doors, which are the brown doors like here to your right. He also knew that when those red lights were on, they were recording inside. So knowing all this information, every time the lights turn red, he'd pull his motorcycle up to an elephant door and he'd rev his engine to disrupt production. It got so bad to a point that Jack Warner decided to ban him from riding his motorcycle on the lot. He wasn't allowed to anymore. So instead, James Dean went out, bought himself a sports car, and did the same exact thing all over again. He really was a rebel without a cause. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Stage 48, this is the final stop of the tour. Uh, it does not end here. You guys can spend as much time in here as you'd like. This is where you will find the original Central Park set from Friends. You can sit on the couch, take photos. We have our Big Bang Theory set. You can sit on Sheldon's couch. We have our green screen experience. You can ride a Harry Potter broomstick. You can ride a bat pod. Our legacy room, where you can hold an authentic Oscar yourself. Uh, in the studio store is going to be where the sorting hat is located if you want to get sorted. Uh, when you're all finished, you're going to also exit through the studio store, out the back doors. A shuttle will take you back to where y'all began. Okay, so I just got off the tour. And as you can see from some of the video, it was actually really informative for this very historic Warner Brothers studio. The funny part is, at the very end, they actually drove me back uh, solo, which was pretty funny overall because... <clears throat> As I was going through the back lot and the other uh, tour groups were going through, it looked like I was famous. And I think one of the tour group guides actually was like, oh, he's famous over there. And then people believed it, um, which is kind of true from the YouTube channel. So, you know, should have had Kevin there too. So I remember when I was living down here, down in uh, the LA area in Burbank, trying to make it in Hollywood. It's the same year YouTube launched, so luckily things changed after that. Anyway, uh, it's like 2005-ish. I actually applied to be a page at Warner Brothers, which is basically like, you can like be a tour guide, help audiences when they come to shows. And I interviewed in this building here. I remember I walked across the street. See what you see over there, the entrance there. Interviewed for it did not get it actually at all but that's okay because otherwise you wouldn't have time would have changed completely and you wouldn't have this great vlog or the comedy channel 
So some things are just meant to be. But I remember they showed all the different shows that are filming at Warner Brothers. On the sound stages there. And a lot has changed since I was here in 2005. Um, much different set of shows, but pretty sure Ellen's been filming in this stage over here. Pretty much the whole time. Or roughly since then. Soundstage goes right against this very busy Olive Avenue. So it must have really good soundproofing in there because like, it's very traffic -y. They're also doing construction on the top of that soundstage. That would terrify me. Fun fact, that mountain just behind Warner Brothers. It's actually the mountain with the Hollywood sign just on the other side. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that tour of Warner Brothers. It is incredibly hot today, so I had to find a spot in the shade that kind of gets the studio in the background, but is also right next to where I parked. Uh, hopefully it was interesting. I thought it was, especially being on the tour, seeing the various back lots, and unfortunately they don't let you film in the sound stages. They took us to the Fuller House sound stage. The set was smaller than it looks on TV, which I feel like is generally what people say for anything on TV. But that was interesting, and I wish I could have recorded it, but unfortunately I couldn't. They also took us to the set of The Real, a talk show that I've never heard of, but someone in the group requested we stop at that set, so we went in there. Uh, but I'd highly recommend it. Very interesting tour for a very historic movie studio that I'm trying my best to get behind me that I'm just not doing a good job of. Uh, so anyway, if you're ever in Burbank, California, I recommend you check out the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Hopefully this was interesting to you. I'm about to head to the Reagan Presidential Library for another tour video, so stay tuned for that. That'll probably be the next video. Depends how I line these all up. And I'm about to head back into my hot car and head there. Talk to you guys next time.